Right then, so how do you replace an image? Very easy. Uh, I'll show you quite quickly how to do it, but is an important thing to know how to do. Particularly, I'm going to use the example of the byline that we've got up in our the top of our article. So at the moment, it's defaulted to be for Instagram. But let's say maybe your byline, you actually want Twitter. Um, right, I've just noticed it's amazing bit of my hair going on here. There we go. Um, <laughs> uh, so uh, let's say you want your byline to include a link to a Twitter uh, handle rather than an Instagram one. Easy to fix. Make sure you've got the Instagram uh, icon selected and then simply go to File and Place. And I'm going to go to the right folder, which is my Neon Issue 6 folder, and pick out the Twitter logo. There we go. Simple as that to replace an image. Uh, it's worth noting that this particular byline, the way it's set up, um, it's designed to wrap, uh, the, the, the text is designed to wrap around the Twitter or Instagram icon. So you may need to move it along just to get it to the right place when you type your name. And you can do that. A nice way to move things is just with the arrow keys. The arrow keys, left, right, up, down. But you won't want up and down. You just want left, right until it goes into the right um, uh, place. Okay, so uh, let's scroll down to the next page and zoom out a little bit. Uh, let's say we wanted to replace this image of a dog. We'll uh, make sure we have it selected. Got the blue box with the white squares going around it. Place, so file and place. And then I pick off this image. And that's it. So I can replace images like that. Very, very straightforward and simple. I'm actually going to control Z on that and get us back to where we were. Okay, looking at my layout overall, um, maybe there's an issue with color. So we, I created a color theme based on this photograph using this kind of gray, blue, duck egg, whatever color with some sort of rusty browns and oranges. And then maybe on page two, I've got this great picture of this rather beautiful doggy, but it's not working for the layout because it's pink. Uh, I mean, I don't actually think it looks that bad, but I'll show you how you can tint a, a photograph, how you can change the hue of it very quickly and easily. So I'm gonna select the rectangle marquee tool here. That's the one that is about halfway down uh, and looks like a square. And I'm gonna draw myself a square. Um, now this square, I wanna make sure that the fill is in this case, I'm going to use my nice little duck eggy color and that I've got no stroke on it. So just using the properties panel on the right hand side, I just went to fill and stroke and change those. I'm going to drag this up onto the top right hand corner and I'm going to drag it down so it covers the whole of the photograph perfectly. Okay, well obviously that just means we can't see the photograph but that's and something I can change very, very easily window at the top and then effects this drop down menu here lets me actually change the way that that solid color interacts with the thing below it so we have lots of different blending mode options and i can change these to make the picture look different using that solid color over the top now a good one if you want to match colors is hue and now i've set up that hue so it sits in the same color palette as the dog. Now, whether you like that or not, it depends. I mean, I didn't actually think there was really anything wrong with the pink, to be honest. Uh, and some of the other blend modes might end up looking better. I can try them too. Uh, maybe I'll end up liking this one. That as well could work. Um, so yeah, that's how you do it. You don't have to, but it's a nifty little trick to have in your toolkit.